Chelsea, I'm having a flashback to, I think it was the Democratic National Convention when we talked about having a baby. Do you remember that? Are you pregnant? Tell us if you're pregnant. Is that what happened on that night? Because I don't remember anything. Well, we have much to discuss. Uh-oh. It's time to get in the golf cart. Uh -oh. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. It's an honor to have funny lady Chelsea along for the ride, and we didn't travel far before we came upon the old home of her late night talk show, Chelsea Lately. Oh, the... by the way, I used to work here. Is, is this, this it? my old building? This is the building? Oh yeah, I used to work here. This is my old Chelsea Lately spot. Okay, wait, what does that feel like? What does it feel like to be? It feels like nothing. It's you so weird. You know, there's no like emotion it that comes up. It feels like there's driving no... by an ex-boyfriend who I can't, you know, who I can barely remember. Like, it's just in the past. Well, right. question about the show. <laughs> who was like the guest that always delivered? Will Ferrell and Will Kevin Ferrell? Hart. Who was the guest that got banned from the show? Tina Tequila was her name? Tila Tequila? Tila Tequila. Tila Tequila. She passed out during the interview. <laughs> You killed that time slot. You killed that format. Is it is it ever something you want to return to? Oh, I mean, I loved it. I love doing it. Yes, I will do it. If the right opportunity presents itself, okay. I would love to do that again. In the meantime, fans are going to love seeing Chelsea on the road for her new comedy tour. The tour that I'm on is called Little Big Bitch Tour. OK, wait. Because I talk about how I became this person because I was born this way. I didn't develop this personality. It just came out. And so when I was three, I was already talking like this. So it was very At scary th so for my and parents. And you're the youngest of six? Six kids, yeah. So my parents obviously weren't using any sort of birth control or making any financial <laughs> plans for having a large family. Okay. Which is why I had to start so many businesses when I was a little girl, because I wanted to split ties with them at some point. Okay, so yes. what were some of the uh, like the jobs that you had before you started to like hit? Like some of the... Well, when I was 10, I started a babysitting company, but I lied and I said I was 15 years old and I ended up babysitting for a 14-year-old boy the entire summer. <laughs> So that was one story. Okay. I also opened up a hard lemonade stand because I wanted to make more money than my competitors and regular lemonade wasn't going to cut it. So, so I was offering the, whiskey, gin, and tequila. Do you and have we made bank. We made $168 on the very first day of our hard lemonade stand. Who was buying lemonade from ki hard lemonade from kids at a lemonade stand? Adults who were cycling by with their children. Hi, wave to your fans. Wave to your fans. Oh, sorry. Hey, Jeez, fans. Don't make me strike you again. I, I'm kind of into it, I'll be honest with you. You know, it's not about me, Chelsea. Welcome to New Jersey Street. This is not New Jersey Street. This it is, is New York. New I'm actually going to get out on my own side because I'm an independent woman. It's, New Jersey this Street. This is New York Street, by the way. Nope. I'm I'm Downtown Jersey City. I'm from New Jersey, and he's from New Jersey. And we know New Jersey when we see it, and this is not it. Welcome to Hoboken. While we pause to stretch our legs, we dove deeper into the stories Chelsea's gonna be sharing on her tour. I'm also curious about the things that you decided to not share. Were there, were there stories that you were like, mm, I'm not gonna go there yet, maybe that's a book? Uh, you know, I thought about it, and you know me, I'm not very shy. I right. like to front load. And there are a couple of stories that involve re very well-known people that I was like, oh, I'm not gonna tell them. Do you change their names? Do no, you... I've decided to tell the stories <laughs> and use their names. Oh, snap! And out those people. Yes! One of them is Bill Cosby. I had an experience with him. One of them is Woody Allen. I had an experience with him. What? Um, yeah, but I came out unscathed. Uh, but I have a good stories to tell about them. Whoa! Hold on, my fans are coming. Hi, guys! Hi, everybody! Hi! Do you really think that you always, this was like the personality you always had? I always had a very strong personality. Like my brothers and sisters, when you're the youngest of six children, you learn curse words very early. You learn how to, you know, advocate for yourself very early. Yes. Because you're constantly defending yourself and you're constantly trying to be included. So you have to be scrappy and a hustler. So, you know, and now I, I'm the youngest in my family and I'm now the ruler of my family. You were talking about really being into stand-up. I think you were also really into pageants at one time. Are we going to show yeah. what you're looking at? Yeah. This was a mistake. <laughs> First of all... Why was it a mistake? Well, the dress is... I look like a sardine, and I look scared. You do kind of look a little afraid. Scared of, of what... Because I don't think I can breathe because I think I had to lose so much weight to fit into this gown. You My hair is winning. I mean, look at that. 100%. I'm, I'm the Lion King. Let's go back 
This is, yes. To like your hard lemonade days. This is right before I started my own business. I was probably six in this picture. And at seven, I was starting to think about, you Businesses. know, how to split ties with my family <laughs> and how to make myself financially sound so that I didn't have to spend so much time with them. And that's when I started my own business, my babysitting empire, which I ran for three years from 10 to 13. I saved thousands of dollars during this time period. I was lying and saying I was older than I was. I was right. 15 when I was 10, so I had to always keep track of the lies, which was another burden. And finally, on our drive back across the Universal lot, it was time for some rapid fire. All right, Chelsea, this is the rapid round. Oh, okay. Tell me this, who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, God, I mean, Tom Cruise, probably. Okay. When I was a little girl. Worst first date location? Coffee. Really? I find that to be a very annoying first date. I don't like coffee, and I don't like coffee places, and I don't want to sit there. I want to have a drink on a first date. Favorite cuss word? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I use that word a lot. Yeah, it's, it's application is so varied. It's varied, and it also gets the point across, so there's no questions. Yeah, and it's in every know. language. And is it? Yeah, like Mandarin. It is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Are you making that up? Nope. Dating apps. Yay Raya. or nay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, he's really threw out the Raya. I don't care. Okay, do you find success on Raya? In terms of dating someone, yeah, I've dated guys on Raya. Have I fallen in love with anyone on Raya? No, but I will say about Raya, it yields better results yeah. than a lot of other dating sites. I like when I go to London, set something up for there. Yep. Go to New York, set a little thing up for there. Yep. And Raya is perfect for that. Do you believe yourself to be a in love type like do, is that the goal to like find the in love partner or is it like companionship like what's the what would be the goal i mean i yeah no not companionship i don't need a companion if i'm gonna could be a companion with someone i better be in love with them you know okay and yes the goal is to find love and be in love like who doesn't love that feeling no, exactly okay tell me this who is the most famous person in your phone right now ah uh, I don't know. Yes, you do. I mean, I know a lot of famous people. Yeah, like, give me a name. Uh, who's the most famous? I don't know who the most, Ariana Grande. She's famous. I'd say, do you have her in your phone as Ariana Grande? Or is there a code name? Uh, no, I think I have it in as Ariana Grande. Who would you want to play you in a movie? Chelsea Clinton, who else? You know, it isn't, you don't have to pick another Chelsea. Oh, I don't? No, no. it could be any actress. It well, could be you, Halle Berry. Okay, well then, Elizabeth Banks, I guess, is the most easy answer. We look the most alike. Well, according to everyone else, we everyone confuses me for Elizabeth and Elizabeth for me. What is the the body part on a guy? Like, the one that pulls you in the most? Oh! Like, he, could, have, he could be bald, but if he's got this. Like, really nice shoulders, a nice neck. I love everything. What do you mean a nice neck? I like like a thick, not too thin neck, but not veiny. Like I like a strong neck. And I like strong, I want like a strong shoulder frame. Okay. I like every part about a body. <laughs> I don't want someone who's in the gym all the time. Ah, okay. You know? But like definitely could throw you over their shoulder. Yeah, I want him to be able to pick me up and physically take me places. <laughs> if you were not a comedian, an author, uh, entertainer, producer, what would you be? Uh, probably a farm-to-table gynecologist. Anyway, it was great to meet you. A what? <laughs> <laughs>